starting out this holiday look, I grabbed my good old Naked palette. It was the original first one that they made, and I took that third shade in, which is a very light tan brown. I just put that all in the inner corner and the lid to kind of give yourself a little bit of mm, like setting powder, if you will. Then I went in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, and I used that gray color to start the smoke with that blendable brush. Now I'm taking the black color and I used a very small end of a brush. This is an Anastasia brush that came with her Modern Renaissance palette and I'm just V'ing out at the very outer corner of my eye and then I take the other end and start to blend it into the eye. So this is how I always create my smoky looks. The transition shade is basically the gray which is underneath the black which just helps for a more seamless look so that you don't just look like a raccoon or just really chalky. <laughs> Same concept, different brush. I'm just taking this longer bristled brush and again still blending it out. That's usually the key to any type of smoky look as you just want to keep on blending out the look and you learn that over time basically that you just gotta keep going until you know that it looks good. Now I'm taking this white stark color and it I wanted to highlight underneath my brow bone so I just took a very shaded brush and it was kind of big so I put it there and then I put it on the inner corner of my eye where I'm going to put the highlight just to kind of even it out really quick. I actually took this that liquid glow. This is really the secret to when people highlight their inner corner. They actually don't use powder. They use liquid. It comes out so much more pigmented so you definitely want to know the insider <laughs> tricks and that's one of them. <laughs> Again, to really make this look more seamless, you just grab any of the brushes that you've already used, wipe off some of the product, and just keep blending out until you like the look. So I, you'll see me go in with a couple different times and just keep blending because, again, that is just how it's going to not just look crazy. Highlight underneath your brow bone and then this look is going to be done. Like I said, just do your finishing touches, add your lashes and your liner, and you're set. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you guys want to see anything else. Thank you. Bye.